what I want to do is I want to make a little video of how to um, lay out for outlets when doing diagonals on backsplashes. It's a pain in the butt, but I think uh, I found at least what works for me a pretty good way. And uh, so what we're going to do, as you can see here, we've got a backsplash that's got all kinds of things going on in it. What I like to do, these are cut out for the um, deco strips. And I'm just going to raise that up like that. And what you need to do is you just need to find a way to get the, the, the spacing off. Now we're using 3 16 inch joints. And so what I do is I line it up there. And then I have an outline of the box here. So what you do is you just mark your box outlines. Just like that. Okay. Now what we do, come on over here. And the next step here, let me grab one thing. I need to cut a half. So we got a half here. Right like that. Then I have another full piece. That goes right here. And then, let's see if I can find it, since I didn't bother to have all my stuff in the same place um, when I started making this video. Let's find my template. You want to restart? No, nope, I found it. Set right here. Then what you do is, first thing, you want to have one reference line that is um, that you know is, is square or, or plumb. And so you just draw one. And what I do here, it's like this. Now I'm using magic marker here mainly because I don't uh, have it. I don't have any. Uh, um, I can't make a pencil mark. It doesn't show up very well on this. So make the lines like that. Then what you do is you just set this in. Get these squared up to your grout joints. Set your template on it. Just like that. What you want to do with the template, come over here. You want to go ahead. That template should be the size of the holes. You want it the size of the holes, not the whole box. And then you want it basically the size of the interior of the box. So this should fit right inside the, per the perimeter of these boxes. And as you can see, it's lots of fun to get these outlined in, but it really helps. So then what we do, just go ahead, drop this down like this, set that up on those squares, and then map all the cuts. Now this one here happened to break pretty nice because I probably won't even clip I probably won't even clip these two corners here, but this way, you know, let's just say it was sitting here or here, wherever that outlet sets, all you need to do is find the two edges on your diagonal. So let's just say the outlet was here and here. Go ahead, find your edges just like that. And then you know exactly where the next one sets. You lay them out all beforehand, and then you just go and you cut them. Thank you so much.